twice a week, rain or shine. Alexander Antonets comes here, to the Kiev Hippodrome, where he helps to break in horses. The retired university professor says working with the horses helps him take his mind off the worrying news from the Russia-Ukraine border. No one can say for sure what Putin is going to do. No one knows, really. So we need to be prepared for the worst, for Russia's attack. Antonets is not afraid of tough times. In 2014, he took part in Euromaidan, a wave of demonstrations to demand closer Ukrainian ties with the EU. Today, he says he is not going to hide or run away. If an invasion does take place, he is prepared to fight. I know how to handle an F1 grenade. I learned how to do it. There is a police station right under my balcony, so if invaders come, they will occupy it for sure. These young women who fled the Donbass region and Crimea have already lived through an occupation. They don't treat Putin's threats like a joke. I remember the time the Donetsk People's Republic signs were just starting to pop up in Donetsk. I didn't believe this was actually happening. Many people I knew didn't believe anything would come out of it either. Two days ago I packed my go bag. This cafe is a gathering place for a lot of refugees from the Russia-occupied Ukrainian territories. Today, as always, they talk about the threat of war. We will evacuate the children and come back. I plan to go help at a hospital. I have signed up for first aid and medicine classes. Back in 2014 to 2016, after I left Crimea, I worked at a hospital helping take care of the wounded. I have the experience, I just need to refresh my knowledge. Journalist Alena Maksimenka often travels to eastern Ukraine to gather information for articles and blogs. I'm not afraid. I was taken prisoner in Crimea in 2014. Then I used to go there as a volunteer on several occasions. I'm not afraid anymore. I think I will go work as a volunteer paramedic. Maybe I'll be able to cover the events as a journalist. I'm ready for however the events unfold. Recent surveys show more Ukrainians are feeling increasingly negative toward Russia. And as many people prepare for the worst, a poll conducted by Ukrainian think tank Rozumkov Center shows that 71% of Ukrainians believe Ukraine is already at war with Russia. For Oksana Lihostova in Kiev, NRI's VOA News.